Hey guys, it's your girl Ezem Fit, and today I am bringing to you my plank program. Um, so if you didn't know, I am in the Navy, and we have not done a physical readiness test in almost two years uh, because of COVID. And so now we're getting ready to do the test, and surprise, they changed our core challenge to the plank. So I just like, I have a hate-hate relationship with the plank. Like, it is uncomfortable. It's the longest minutes ever. Um, and so here I am, and they have caught me off guard, not ready for this test, and I have to do a plank. And it has to be three minutes and 10 seconds. And y'all, I'm just gonna be honest, I have never done a three minute and 10 second plank in my life. So I am training, and I created a program, and I am bringing my program to you guys. Um, so all you'll need is your body, a mat or floor whatever you whatever feels comfortable to you and um, I also have a weighted vest but if you don't have that that is fine too the first thing we are going to work on is form um, because obviously piss poor form will not get you the performance that you want so in a plank it's all about core, um, but your core is more than just your abs, right? It's also your back muscles and your pelvic floor muscles. Um, so it's important to, let me get in a plank to show you, but it's important. You're going to want to have your shoulders stacked above your elbows. You don't want an extended pelvis. You want to tuck your pelvis and then you want to keep your your legs activated so your quad should be activated push back through your heels and this is the plank form that you're looking for so day one is a push-up plank combination why am I doing push-ups well because for my physical fitness test I have to do push-ups I have a two-minute rest and then I have to do the plank like it's all types of messed up but uh, that's another story for another day. So day one is three sets of push-up planks. So it's gonna go like this. You're gonna do as many push-ups as you can, and then you're gonna plank right afterwards. So pushing up, down, up, down, okay? As many as you can until you get tired. And then when you're tired, lower down into a plank and hold for as long as you can. That's day one. We're back for day two. Day two, just planks, all right? Three sets, holding the plank for as long as you can. Again, stressing our plank form, getting low, making sure our pelvis is tucked, and getting my shoulders stacked over the wrist, keeping my core activated, and day two push-ups why again are we doing push-ups well your core is activated during your push-ups it's not just chest and so if you can use your muscle strength and activate those core muscles practicing that in your push-ups you can apply that to your planks so again getting into my push-up form and lowering up and down, up and down. As many as you can, three sets. All right, so day four is all about strengthening the areas that start to feel weak when we're doing planks. So that's your shoulder, sometimes your lower back, and your core and your pelvis, and then also your quads and your legs. So, First thing that I do is I like to do kind of like these shoulder push-ups because I my shoulders get tired when I'm doing a plank for a long time. So I'm in plank and I'm just pushing up through here to kind of strengthen those shoulder muscles. The second strengthening move that I do is to target my low back. I call these Supermans because when I did gymnastics a long, 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 long time ago, that's what we called them. I guess they're more like um, lumbar extensions, uh, but whatever you want to call them. You're gonna lay flat on the mat, placing your hands behind your head, and then you're just lifting up. So 
lifting your chest, your shoulders, your elbows, and your legs. Really feeling that contraction here in your lower back. That's the second move. The third move is to practice activating your quads while you're in a plank. So it really reminds you like, oh, I'm getting tired. Okay, call on those extra muscles to help give you strength while you're doing your plank. So I like to do elevated. I usually do a block, um, but I don't have a block here right now. But again, in our favorite plank pose and you're doing taps to the side like this. Okay, and then the last move is gonna be um, Ardha Navasana or half boat in yoga. We're doing this to really activate, practice activating those core muscles and rounding and our, really kind of putting our low back to the mat. It's kind of like a upside down plank. So I keep my arms up, keep my feet up like I'm in a push-up or a plank and you hold it for as long as you can. Now notice I didn't give you times for the other moves and that's because you do it for as long as you can, do as many as you can. It's kind of like a burnout. Do three burnout rounds and that is day four, I think. <laughs> All right. Okay, so day five is an active rest day. Um, you're not gonna be in plank position at all. What you're going to do, and I'm gonna turn to the side, so maybe you can see this a little bit better, but you are going to be doing core activation wherever you are, in the car or at work, and you're just gonna activate your core for as long as you can on an hourly basis. So when I say core activate, it means bringing your navel into your spine and actively sucking in for as long as you can. And you do it while you're at work, sitting at your desk, holding a conversation. But again, it's for muscular strength and endurance. It'll help you when you have to do a plank for three minutes. Okay, so day six, we are bringing in the weights. Why? Because increased weight equals increased intensity. So I'm gonna throw on my vest and if you guys have seen any of my other content, you know I'm in love with this vest. Got it on Amazon, I think it was like $30. Just Google weighted vest. This one's about 10 pounds. So I wanna step up the intensity because if I can do a three minute plank with a 10 pound weighted vest on, I can do a three minute plank without it a lot easier. So today is again, going to be just like your day one where we did push-ups and plank but we're doing push-up plank combo with the vest so revisit here just a quick demo but I'm going to do my, my push-ups and then I'm lowering down and I'm holding plank for as long as I can I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do a plank for three minutes. That's boring. On day seven, um, you have really been putting in the work all week. We're just gonna rest today. And then tomorrow, or as you start over, just restart your program. And really the goal is each time to just increase by maybe five seconds or 10 seconds, whatever your goal is. Um, but you're just practicing to progressively build up strength and ultimately increase your core strength and increase your time. Um, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you are training for the physical fitness test, please let me know if you have any tips. Love to hear them. Drop them in the comments. Um, but again, my name is Ezen Fit. My Instagram is E underscore Zen Fit. And my website is the Ezenfit.com. I'll check you next